I have a great exercise for you if you're wanting to tone your lats, if you're wanting to shape and sculpt, but also to give you functional strength. And I've got John Rosenberg on here. Oh, Welcome. I do. Appreciate you being here. Sure. John is a very active adult, and one of the things that he's got coming up is a river rafting trip. Right. So we're going to show you an exercise that we put into his program that you can possibly repeat on your own, and it'll be a great way to, to shape your lats, but also we're going to get a lot of core strength in here because when you are river rafting, we get a tremendous amount of core strength. So as I'm, as John's performing the exercise, I'm going to tell you how it's done, and then he's going to visit a little bit about his story. Basically, we're using a cable crossover machine, the low pulley, and we've got a setup here that I developed for um, his rowing, and it's basically a, a straight bar that has a hook on the end, and it allows us to load the weight where he can do this through um, a full range of motion, very similar to the motion he'll be doing rubber rafting. And uh, he's doing 15 reps. We're looking for strength and endurance. He's got to uh, be on the river for, it's many days. 10 isn't days. It? 10 days. 10 days. So uh, we're looking for strength and endurance. And we're looking for core strength. And uh, let's, let's visit before you start the next set. And because, John, maybe you can visit a little bit about you've got shoulder issues and you've had back issues. I bet um, too. We're looking to protect you know, his shoulder during this. Um, what's, what's up with your shoulder? Well, I've had two shoulder surgeries over the last six years. The first one was a uh, weightlifter shoulder where there was an impingement. Okay. These were both right shoulder. And uh, then recently, actually last October, I had a torn labrum, an AC repair, and a rotator cuff repair also on the okay. right shoulder. And of course, since that time, I've gone hella skiing, which is helicopter right. dropping Drop in the mountains. in the middle of nowhere, uh, yeah. I've taken two alpine ski trips, uh, and I'm about to go 10 days way north in British Columbia on a river called the Cleany Cleany that okay. about 200 people a year river raft with my 16 year old daughter. And you're hoping to come back alive I'm assuming. <laughs> with, with a shoulder that works. Right. Absolutely. Right. That's good. And so I mean your goal is functional fitness. You're not Absolutely. you know you're not trying to bulk up, you're not trying to lose weight, just trying to, no, I, to I, live I, the active lifestyle. I have good genes. My father who is uh, 76 years old is built just like me. Uh -huh. um, but but when I take these active trips, we are in the middle of nowhere and I want to be physically up for the challenge right. and to be able to do the sport without every night when I'm camping. I mean, I'm laying on the ground in a sleeping bag. Right. I don't want to have to take a lot of medication for pain. <laughs> I'm almost 50 and then, you know, this is a pretty strong right. lifestyle. All the guides, the, the, uh, the, the staff that come along on these trips, I mean, they're in their mid early 20s. Right. And they may drink a lot more than I do, but yeah. that not was liquid painkillers. That's exactly right. So I want to be prepared for the right. prepared for the journey. That's smart. Mm -hmm. That's smart. Let's knock out a second set on the other side. Obviously, we're going to do equal number of repetitions on each side. Um, this is a great exercise because we are working, look at his right shoulder with the range of motion that it's going through. And then we've got his trunk muscles, his obliques, his back, all this. The core muscles are working to give us this twisting motion. And then the latissimus dorsi. That's the main muscle that we're targeting here with the left arm. That is the arm that's pulling. So it's there's so much going on here. We got the lats working here. He's working the chest on that side. Um, low back as he's bending forward to dig into the water to paddle through. And uh, it's just this is just a great exercise. A great right, this exercise. This is why I need a personal trainer. How many have I done? I don't count. <laughs> <laughs> There's three kinds of trainers. The kind that count and the kind that cannot count. Think about that. That probably went over a lot of people's heads. Okay, um, now you've had personal trainers in the past at, yeah. at your gym, um, yeah. but why why did you choose here? Why didn't you personal? stay there? Why, why, why here? Yeah, I mean, why didn't you work well, out with the trainers there? Well, Sensible Fitness was actually recommended by my wife, okay. who... Uh, knows everything. Well, she, she <laughs> does know everything, and of course she's off camera, so we would say nothing <laughs> bad about her. But she had some physical challenges. She had some surgeries, and she went to her orthopedic surgeon and said, now what do I do? to help pass physical therapy, maintain and not hurt myself further. Okay. And the recommendation was sensible fitness. Have you talked to Doug Gibson? And we went, who? Yeah. <laughs> and that's really the story. Okay, well that's the, cool. the other thing, and I have had uh, a number of personal trainers since I started training. Um, some were good, some were not so good. 
um, but none had what I perceive you have in terms of really the physical therapy background along with, combined with personal training that is why we come back. I, I kind of think I'm safer here than I would be with the average trainer. Okay. I didn't pay him to say this. That's very kind of you to say that. Well, sure. I hope I get the next three personal <laughs> training free. <laughs> Is it free? Probably not. <laughs> oh, how about One just more two? time? <laughs> no, yeah, no, you're done, buddy. Oh, thank you. All right. So give this, give this a try at your gym. Um, you're going to have to need a little setup like this. It's not hard to put together. But a great exercise, whether you're canoeing or not, it's a great core exercise, great for the obliques, great for the latissimus dorsi, just all around excellent. Great. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate it.